flowers are so bright and shiny, they just bring joy to your life. And we are fulfilled just with the camaraderie and the beauty that we're able to work with. The Bloom Project is a nonprofit that repurposes flowers, uh, bringing fresh bouquets to hospice and palliative care patients on a weekly basis. My name is Heidi Berkman and I'm the founder of The Bloom Project. You're coming up on the 10th anniversary of The Bloom Project. Take me back 10 years ago. How did this start? I had been thinking about how I could create a volunteer opportunity for people to give back to those that were being cared for in hospice. That came from my own personal experience in losing a loved one and understanding how amazing the care workers were with our family and the idea around flowers, and to me this seemed like the perfect way to show that we cared through a gift of something that was alive and beautiful. It smelled good. Um, it was something that could remind someone that they're being thought of. Um, there are so many times where we'll hear that this is the first time someone has ever received a bouquet of flowers in their life, man or woman. What is this? This is what we lovingly refer to as our paycheck wall, and this is a <laughs> very uh, few number of the many, many cards that we've received over the 10 years. These are coming from mothers, daughters, husbands, wives saying thank you. It's simple sentiments that are shared within these cards, but oh so important for us to be able to share here at the Bloom House with our volunteers. It has been absolutely overwhelming to see the floral partners, um, the property owners, uh, such as Larry Tufel of Tufel Holly Farms, get behind us to provide us with these resources. On, a, on average, I would say we're donating somewhere between four to 550 bouquets a week. Do you have a goal that you'd like to reach? We do, actually. Uh, it is our goal to reach 200,000 bouquets donated with 100,000 volunteer hours as close to Valentine's Day in 2018 as we can. This coming year? Correct. It's a simple, thoughtful gesture, um, but it's one that has proven over 10 years to just continue to show us the power of flowers, for lack of a better way of putting it. I can't tell you the number of people that, you know, come up to you and the meaning that these have every time that they show up in a room. Just a really incredible sense of gratitude and um, appreciation for what a community can do. Now, if you would like to help Heidi reach her goal of 1,000 volunteer hours, or if you'd simply like to learn a little bit more about the organization, you can attend their Bouquets of the Heart event this Friday at the Multnomah Athletic Club. Details will be posted on KGW.com. Heidi mentioned two fulls and other yeah. floral partners. Is this the key to getting all those flowers, which we know can be expensive? Oh, yeah. It is truly a collaboration of so many different groups in the in the community. Zupans, uh, New Seasons, Two Full Holly Farms. I mean, truly every the the wholesale flower market farms down down south all contribute to the flowers that Heidi puts together and then passes out to families who are truly uh, truly touched by the gesture it's a yeah. wonderful organization and yeah. wow what a job they're doing yeah they're doing a ton of work Joey thanks a lot if you have a story idea for Joey's journal you can email it to Joey's journal at kgw.com or you can post it on Joey's Facebook page as well